Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. I'm just recording this video as we have recently had our new ban list drop for December. Now, spoiler alert for those of you who haven't seen it, it's really not a big one. I'm not going to do a live reaction or any of that nonsense. I'm literally here to just talk about my thoughts on what has been changed on the list so far uh, and how I think it's going to change things, if at all, going forward. At the time we're recording, it is the 10th of December. By the time this goes up, it'll be the 11th, the Friday. But I just wanted to share my thoughts with you on what changes have been made and if I feel that they're going to have any real impact on the game at all. If you do see me looking at funny angles, it's because I've got two monitors going on here and this is fucking with my head completely. So expect me to just be looking all over the place. Uh, I'll try and make as much beautiful eye contact as you need. So we're going to take a look through the list and... Have a look at the changes and sort of discuss those as we go along. Okay, so the first thing to note is that this is effective from the 15th, which is Monday, I believe, five days from now. If my maths isn't wrong. Uh, so, effective from then. No earlier than March 1st, which for the majority of us, this is going to be the kind of time that we expect that we may be coming out of our lockdowns, at least here in Europe. So hopefully that's a good sign for going into competitive play on a physical level again, even on a smaller scale. So we're just taking a look through the list now. So the first one to note is Dragon Buster Destruction. So this is one that I've wanted to go for absolutely ages. I'm glad that they've decided to hit this. It's an absolutely fucking stupid card. Uh, I'm just glad it's gone. It, it stops Union Carrier being absolute... Bullshit, and now I don't think that that card is necessarily done just yet. There's going to be way more applications for that in the future. But for now, at least we've taken care of the current problem card before that becomes one further down the line. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword is just one of those cards that kind of just promotes the general bullshit of not letting your opponent play the game. Uh, it's just really, really unfair. And the kind of decks that are usually putting it out already are putting out usually unbreakable boards anyway. So this just goes that extra line further. It just isn't needed in the game, and I'm glad that they've hit it. Okay, so we're moving down the list. Let's have a look at what else there is. There was very, very few hits and changes on this list. Uh, so we see Lincross banned. This is not really all that surprising. I did think that they'd leave Halka Fibrax alone for a little bit longer. Uh, Lincross has already gone in the OCG, to my knowledge, so it's not surprising at all that we have followed suit on this one. Lincross needed to go, and hopefully that means less degenerate bullshit combo decks. It does mean that the combos will be a little bit more fair, a little bit more likely to be broken, of course, until someone figures out a bullshit way to abuse what is still left in the game. So looking further on down, let's take a look. So there's just one more that's been banned, and that is Smoke Grenade of the Thief. Again, another degenerate card. They've got their reprint out of this. They've made... Well, did they make any extra money? It was reprinted in OTS packs. Who knows? In any case, it, it needed to go. It was long overdue. In a deck that could already do as much as it could to have hand knowledge as well, this just made it absolute bullshit. So I'm glad that this card is gone. Um, it, it'll be interesting to see how things affect Infernoble Knights. Uh, I think the deck is still going to be very, very viable, still very, very good. Um, but will it be one of those top decks of the format? That's That remains to be seen. It's taken a couple of really big hits here in Lincross and the Smoke Grenade. So it'll be interesting to see how it adapts and how it changes. Okay, so we're carrying on down the list. We're looking at the limited list. Uh, on the limits so far, absolutely nothing. Nothing changed. So nothing has gone to one. So we've seen three cards banned. Nothing gone to one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the semi-limits. Okay, so onto our semi-limits. The only real change here, True King's Return. This is actually a card that I've been calling to come off the list for a little while now. It's a very, very strong and powerful card, but it means that Draco can be played in and of itself. It has been crippled by the hits on the list. Format after format after format. I actually really like the Draco engine. I don't like the fact that it is super floodgatey, And unfortunately, that is always going to be part of the deck. But Sea True King's Return go to two. Makes Dynamite a hell of a lot better. It means that it'll just be a really, really good road pick, potentially going into the new formats. And then now we move on to our Unlimbs. And this is where I'm really happy. I already know, of course, what's happened here. Okay, so we see Seer to three. Graph to three. Two that I've been calling for absolutely ages. It means I can effectively play BA at full power. Most definitely it's just going to be some cheesy full pure BA lists that I'm putting out there. I'll probably bring you a deck profile soon because I'm going to be super excited to be testing this. Um, but it, it, it does. It puts the deck in a really nice position to be a little bit more playable um, in formats where it's not necessarily at its strongest point. Um, so to have this extra fodder to be able to play is just awesome. I'm glad to see them both off the list. Uh, Evie Gishki, Mind August. This is not one I'm very 
familiar with, I should say. I wasn't around when Eva Gishki was much of a thing, so I don't really know how this changes things. I can't really comment. If you do have any ideas on what this might bring to the Met, if anything at all, I haven't really seen people talking about it, but feel free to mention down in the comments what changes you think that this will make to the game. And then our last two on the list, two cards that probably should never have been hit in the first place, ABC Dragon Buster and Totally Awesome. ABC Dragon Buster, the deck is fucking dead. Uh, as long as field cards aren't really super playable, which they're not really with the way uh, it's had all of these indirect hits, the deck is going to really, really struggle. Uh, and I think that having this at three just makes it at least semi-viable for people who do want to play the deck. Totally awesome to three makes absolute sense to me. Uh, I think that they knee jerked it because they were worried about how things would go in this master rule, much like they did with Dragon Buster. So I'm glad to see both of those back at three. I mean, I fucking hate Paleo, so I really don't want them to have it back. But at the same time, it's kind of unfair and unjust for it to have been on the list in the first place. But overall, it's very, very few changes on this list. I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. The majority of people I've spoken to have found this kind of underwhelming, but I do think that it was a pretty safe set of hits and changes on the list. Not to change things up too much, but enough to just curb some of those decks that were going a little bit above and beyond. It'll be interesting to see what people do now that Link Cross has been hit. I imagine a lot of the top players out there will have anticipated this hit coming and will have started to build their decks accordingly, at least on paper, to get some ideas of what exactly they can do. But that's all from me, guys. Just a brief one today. I just wanted to give you a roundup of my thoughts and opinions on this list. Of course, many of my cards on my wish list weren't there. Glad to see the two BAs come off, though. This is going to be really, really nice. Loads and loads of fun to play with. I'm really excited to get testing with those as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much for coming along, guys. If you haven't already, you should most definitely hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.